Here we are one day away from kickoff in the 24-25 Premier League season. It is time for the fabled kit rankings. We are going to decide what the best home kit, the best away kit and the worst kit in these selections for next season in the Premier League are. Oh, sincerest apologies. I am flying solo today. It may be to some of your great disappointment, but time commitments mean it must be so. We are brought to you on this video in association with Surprise Shirts. And before we get into the rankings, you can win a Surprise Shirt. I'm wearing my beautiful Argentinian number here. All you need to do is get in the comments and write down one of the shirts, home or away, and give us a three word description, okay? So you might, for example, put Ipswich, blah, blah, blah. And the best one, uh, we've got a deal here with the wonderful people at Surprise Shirts, will get a code to get a free box from Surprise Shirts. You could be just like me in your beautiful Argentinian number. It could be from anywhere around the world. So get in the comments as we go through and we want the best three word description. We'll decide that in a few days and reply to you in the comments. Let's start at the beginning, a very good place to start with Arsenal, who this season, look, are harking back with the home kit to, I'm thinking 1990, I'm thinking Alan Smith as soon as I see those three Adidas stripes on the arms and that kind of look, um, which makes me feel very warm and fuzzy. Um, nice little touch on the inside there. I must admit, I like the home kit better than the away kit. Not a massive fan of the um, mint green detail there on Declan Rice on the away kit. But I think the home kit is a winner. Get your thoughts down there in the comments. As we move on to Aston Villa, who at time of recording have not yet launched their away kit. Is it going to be purple? I'm not sure it is. Maybe it'll be white with that purple detail. Anyway, the home kit's looking rather sleek and lovely. Another Adidas number there. You can't go wrong with a classic Villa kit. Badge, badge looks lovely. Stripes don't go all the way down the arm. I'm sure there's some sponsorship reasons on the sleeves. Why not? But I'm a pretty big fan of the Villa shirt. They're pretty much always like the Villa shirts, to be honest. And we will wait and see um, the day before the season starts. Um, what the away kit is going to be looking like. And we'll move on to Bournemouth. And that away kit's going to split opinion. I must say, I like the home kit. I like the collar. And I like the gold detail matching up the sponsor there and breaking up the red and black. I think that home kit's a bit of a winner. Um, <laughs> dare I say, um, recreational drugs come to mind when I'm looking at the... Um, very leafy looking away shirt there in um, purple. Um, it's going to split opinion. Some people are absolutely that you're going to love um, your palm tree edition there. It's not for me, I have to say there, Bournemouth. But I'm a big fan of the home shirt. Let's move on to Brentford, who are going to be equally bold in the away shirt stakes. Um, you'd definitely call that pink wouldn't you? Um, I quite like the lining on the sleeves, but I'm not a massive fan of the colour, I have to say. I think that might be more a commercial decision there and, a, and away from the pitch choice. I do like the home shirt, though. That's a very... I like the black fading into the red on the um, bottom of the stripes there. Um, maybe at the top there with the collar, it's a little bit too busy, but... Um, yeah, I don't think that's bad and difficult with these striped ones. They don't have a don't have a lot to play with. Have to do kind of the same, but more a fan of the home than the away there with Brentford. Let's move on to Brighton. And yeah, I'm not a massive fan of the home shirt. I've got to admit that. And yeah, we're judging some of the others without sleeve sponsors on them, but that's just too busy, isn't it? You've got stripes and then you haven't got stripes and you've got the sleeve linked off. You've got a round collar. You've got... American Express blocked out in a square and I don't know, seems a bit of a hodgepodge. I do prefer the away shirt, which is quite a nice um, yellow, isn't it? With the sort of thinner stripe on there. So not a massive fan of the home one there for Brighton. But the away shirt, 
I think is pretty nice, I've got to say. We move on to Chelsea. And yeah, um, that looks like the sort of um, background you'd find in um, one of the apps for making thumbnails on YouTube with the squiggles and whatnot on the home shirt. Have they got a sponsor yet, Chelsea? I don't know if they have, but a couple of blank looking shirts there. Um, quite like the away shirt, actually. It looks, is it like a France shirt or something like that? I guess the, um, I guess the orange is... Um, is the difference there. But yeah, I think that's rather nice. And it looks like ribbed going downwards as well, doesn't it? So yeah, the home shirt is bold, but a bit of a swing and a miss for me. And again, theme emerging here. I think I'm a bigger fan of the away shirt. But Crystal Palace. Now, I saw a bloke um, walking down my village in this and I double took and I thought, is that next season's shirt? Because I'd be excited to talk about that. I actually think I like the home shirt. Again, that'll split opinion, won't it? But um, you can see the eagle worked in there in a kind of sort of paint effect between the stripes. I don't know. I think that's pretty cool, I have to say. Um, they look to have gone for the same kind of embossing on the away shirt. I'm not quite such a big fan of that, but I'm definitely here for the home shirt there with Palace. Well played, I think. Let's move on to Everton. And, hmm, I think I'm going to go with the away shirt on there. Castore kit here. We love a blackout kit, don't we? And um, I like the embossing on there. Where is the badge, though? What's the, what's the deal there? If anyone could tell me, it looks like the tower. I don't know whether I like that or I don't. It's certainly brave, isn't it, given Everton's famous history. Not such a big fan of the home shirt. Quite like the quite like the collar, actually. It feels a little bit... Uh, shapeless, whereas the home one pulls it off. Maybe it's a bit like the angle of the angle of the photo there. But yeah, Castore have done a good job in the in the championship as well this season, haven't they? Uh, Fulham. Let's move on. Uh, there's Tom Kearney in the shadows. Yeah, the home shirt's quite nice, isn't it? Um, Adidas again. Uh, you can't quite see the stripes on the sleeve, but they are there, aren't they? Um, quite like the red coming up it fairly simple fairly classic collar looks lovely doesn't it um not that much of a fan of the away shirt i've i've got to say that um i think i prefer if the sleeves were red to be honest but they've blacked it out there haven't they and then gone for the white stripes on top of it kind of a little bit too busy for me but home shirt uh, very very nice indeed there fulham here we go this is where i get accused of being biased about Ipswich Town. Now, I must admit, when I first saw the home shirt, I actually particularly didn't like it. But I've seen it a lot since, and I've seen it on, and I think it looks better kind of in the flesh. So I was a little bit like, okay, we've got a badge around a badge. We've got red inside the umbro. We've got, a, you know, no white offset in it, and the dark blue instead. So... Yeah, um, I was quite pleased though when I saw the away shirt because I like the colour and the embossing on the away shirt. So I think they've saved themselves. I think the gold badge and everything there looks better. But the home shirt has grown on me. But again, that may be um, implicit bias there going along. We are halfway through. Remember, over at Surprise Shirts, you can win yourself a surprise box here today. Just comment so-and-so. Say so it's Leicester, Leicester home, and then your three word review, and we'll pick the best one out, and we'll give you a code to get a free box. Don't know what shirt you're gonna get, could be a butte like this one um, from Surprise Shirts. Get involved in the comments and take part in that. As we go on to Leicester City, interesting. <laughs> Very interesting. Um, uh, do you know what I like about the home shirt? I like the yellow around the collar there, just setting that off and representing the fox in the badge not entirely sure i like the cut around the shoulders there but the away shirt's interesting isn't it that's either going to be a massive hit with people or a massive miss shall i go down the middle on it i don't mind it actually i don't think it's either contradicting what i said there so yeah um i think the away one will get a lot of headlines um but i think it's all right isn't it um let's move on liverpool and I think that's actually literally the kit launch there. 
he just opened up the jacket. I think you can see better on the away shirt there, the colour there. Um, I don't know. I, I kind of like the half and half Liverpool green and white in the in the past few years. So uh, they've gone a bit darker. It's a bit smoother, isn't it? I do like the home shirt though. Um, I like the I think the colours are a, a win, isn't it? There on the on the Nike um, and the tiny pinstripe. I think I can remember like a Kenny Dalglish crown paints one with a with a pinstripe that um, I liked very much. So yeah, we'll go the home shirt there on Liverpool. Here come Man City. Now, the home shirt, I'll give or take, not really asked about the collar or the sleeve detail there, but I like what the away shirt stands for because it's harking back, isn't it, to that infamous playoff win from Man City against Gillingham. And I think for a lot of people, the version of Man City that they may consider the real Man City with Paul Dickoff and Sean Goater and Kevin Horlock and Nicky Weaver and all those boys that went back to back promotions and I quite like the fact they're celebrating that and um, I like the laser blue cutting out that fluorescent yellow so yeah um, I'm quite big on the Man City away set there I must say Manchester United um, I'm higher on the away shirt, I've got to say. Um, it looks a bit orangey on the home shirt, doesn't it? With that little fade up um, coming up towards the Snapdragon sponsor. I guess they would get accused of making it just too plain. But the problem is when Manchester United is such a big brand, there's only so far you can do with that classic red look. However, I'm a big fan of the away shirt there. That's really nice, isn't it? Lovely um, shade of, I don't know even what... I'm going to say dark blue, but it's kind of bluey, greeny um, sort of uh, colour there. I think that's really nice. The Man United away shirt, big fan of that. Newcastle, that's a beautifully clean home shirt, isn't it? That classic black and white. You've got that to work with, and I think they've done it nicely. I like the collar, and I don't mind the um, Adidas stripes going halfway down the sleeve. Um... I think the away shirt is so close to being really, really nice. I just think they've kind of overcooked it and the stripes don't line up from the arm to the body, do they? And you've got that cut in detail that we seem to be getting on all the Adidas ones. So big fan of the home shirt though. And I think the away shirt's close. Nice pair though, isn't it? What a lovely pair. Nottingham Forest, again... Like Manchester United, what can you do with the classic forest? I can see some detail on that embossed, but can't massively tell what it is. I think you'd want to hark back to those European, those really classic, real plain forest shirts with a big tree and just the Adidas stripes and uh, the great Trevor Francis and Brian Clough moments there. I like the away shirt, though. Um, we went for a couple of neon ones, spoiler alert, over on the championship video, so... Yeah, um, home shirt does what it says on the tin. Away shirt, pretty good, I think. Uh, Southampton. <laughs> now, it's not Southampton's fault that the sponsor's logo is the way it is, but it just makes the home shirt look a bit silly. That, what is roll bit? Is it like Bitcoin or something? With a rolling wheel. It just makes it a bit cartoonified in the middle and it really takes my eye away from what would just be a classic red and white Southampton collar's nice, but I think that's the worst example of sponsor ruining shirt there. And I know, you know, it is what it is and take the money and everyone needs their sponsor, don't they? Um, don't mind the away shirt. I have to say it's a little bit more fluorescent. I preferred the kind of Brighton um, yellow with the pinstripe there. And I think the yellow covers up the awful sponsor logo, doesn't it? A little bit better there. So a bit more of a fan of Saints away shirt there. Uh, here we come with Spurs. Yeah, that's pretty nice, isn't it? I don't think we've had one that's kind of cut away to the sleeves exactly like that. And it's a beautiful kind of purpley colour that they have on the Spurs shirt. Um, Nike there. Sleeves are interesting. Yeah, pretty good. Um, away shirt, not entirely sure. Looks a little bit kind of like it's faded in a wash or something doesn't it? And they've tried to go different gradients of the colour all the way around it. I don't know. Sleeve detail is quite nice, isn't it? But I think I prefer the home shirt for Spurs. Let me know your thoughts 
in the comments as we go on to West Ham. Um, now, I know a lot of people go for the classics, um, and that does look very much like a sort of 60s West Ham shirt, and they've really simplified the badge, haven't they? Um, I've got to say, I prefer the more modern away shirt there, the blackout with the um, kind of claret detail on it as well. I don't know what's not working for me on the on the home shirt. I don't, but is it too retro? Is it possible for a retro shirt to be too retro? But um, I'm more of a fan of the away shirt and the blackout kit there, I've got to say. And this must be the last one. Wolves, you've got to love the old gold. And I think as a pair, that's really good, isn't it? They work really well together. And it looks like kind of concept with the collars like reversing each other. And you've got gold with black detail and then black with gold detail. And oh, it is a wolf on the... Um, yeah, I like that. I like that away shirt. And I like the um, concept of both. And it's just a bit classic. I said this when we were doing the stadium, didn't I? That classic Wolves colour. Right. That's all of them. Uh, we are now, well, I'm going to consider for a minute and I'm going to come right back to you with my best home kit, best away kit, and my worst kit. Get yours in the comments right now before I'll give you mine. Okay, after much consideration, let's go for the best home kit. I'm gonna say Newcastle United, okay. The naysayers will say, well, it's just black and white stripes. It's very classic, big blocks. I think it looks pretty sleek and smooth. Um, and I'm just a really big fan of, of that. So I'm gonna go for Newcastle as the best home shirt. Uh, best away shirt, always a bit more competition in this one because they're a bit more out there. But I will, I'm afraid, go with one of the big boys. Manchester United. I did particularly like the colour of the blue on that. And I think that's going to look pretty cool this season. Worn by Manchester United away from Old Trafford. My kit crime, my worst shirt. And it's not really the shirt, it's the sponsor, isn't it? So apologies Southampton fans, but it's the it's the role bit, the cartoon defacing of a classic red and white striped Southampton shirt there. Apologies, there's got to be one, hasn't there? Um, get your thoughts in the comments. Uh, best home kit, best away kit, worst kit, and play along to win a potential box from Surprise Shirts. We'll be looking for the best three-word description of any of those kits. Just write the team name, home or away, and then bang, 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 your three word description. Uh, in the next few days, we will reply to a comment and make contact with you and furnish you with a voucher for surprise shirts where you'll be sent a box and you could get something as beautiful as this. Again, apologies, no Shaley on this one, but time constraints, we've got to get this done before the season starts. Get involved in the comments. And if you did miss Shaley, then click up here where you can see myself and my good lady doing the same job here with the championship kits. You get a bonus four on that one, 24 in that league. See who we had where in the championship. And get your comments in and your three word reviews on this year's Premier League kits.